taking shots at the German troops, although so far no kills at the more veteran. Right now we see a firestorm going down. And I decide to be a bit bold and ignore that and move forward instead, not suffering heavy losses in fact. A bit miraculously instead. And uh, plus now I see that this is a firestorm I now know then that my opponent has gone terror doctrine. Yes indeed terror. Hoping to strike fear into my heart and caught. Hope for me to give up the fight, but I don't give up so easily. T17 dashing ahead now, Veteran C2, which I do believe gives it an accuracy bonus. Or is it a penetration bonus? I can't exactly remember at the moment. I'll have to look that up at a later point. And we see the Rangers seizing this point now, and still no Thompsons. T17 dashing outwards again. Central victory point is secure. Mines also going down and mortar providing fire support engineers seizing up these points which were lost to me due to those sneaky fox grenadiers running around behind my lines and the victory point in the north seized once more fox grenadiers on the move cemetery already looking a bit bad although so far only the walls and oh looks like one tombstone has already been knocked down and fox grenadiers Suffering a horrible, horrible incendiary death. Cut off from supply. And the last one running ab away in sheer terror of the might of the flame floor. And we see Veteran C1 on the engineers. Can't exactly remember that either, but I suspect that will just be a survivability bonus. But they are going to be. But elite armor does leave troops more vulnerable to flame flow, so that's actually going to be very nasty. Mortar team member catching on fire. Now we see the Rangers forced to pull back. T17 hanging back a bit, having suffered some engine damage, probably from mortar fire, which also knocked out my own mortar. Troops pulling back from here, and Ranger riflemen now moving in. Veteran C2 going to do a lot of damage to those German troops. Rangers and riflemen leading a counter attack, going to try and catch those Germans out in the open. One we are losing the down and we see another firestorm raining in and I don't see it quickly enough losing a rifleman team in the process and a bazooka and BAR are left behind but the veteran C2 rifleman move on and the grenadiers are now left out in the open against the much more veteran rifleman this is certainly not a good the effect in fact two BARs were left Going to increase the power, firepower first gonna a lot more in particular a lot more than if they had gotten an LMG 42. Veteran C2 rifleman barely making out there after his entire team was slaughtered in seconds by mortar fire and accurate grenadier fire. Which yes, leaves me in a rather nasty situation, forced to reinforce a lot of troops and get replacements for the ones lost. And we see some casualties being pulled back to this medic station, although it is quite damaged at the moment. We're losing a munition. Grenadiers sector. hanging around a bit. One is having grabbed a hunter trick, and another probably grabbed a bazooka. Although I'm not sure which one. Not a good situation for the Germans, though. Not really trying to fortify this area. No barbed wire, no sandbags. Certainly, what I would be doing to actually try and make this area a bit more defensible. Troops sneaking in on these grenadiers once more, trying to harass. Very keen on this harassment with the German troops, leaving them a bit exposed to ambushes. Flamethrowers moving in for the kill alongside some riflemen with EARs. But looks like Hartmann BS notices in time and pulls them back before it ends in a massacre. And riflemen find Rangers finally getting those Thompson submachine guns, going to increase their firepower significantly and alongside their elite armor which Rangers do sound with they're going to be quite lethal in the assault room now. Rifleman Grenadiers suffering quite heavily in fact. Then grenades also going off, killing a lot of folks grenadiers. One team moving in, in fact only equipped with a panther strike right now entirely sure if that's good idea. My troops more or less ignoring it. Folks grenade team cut down. Rifleman team moving in from the flank from down here, flanking in on the mortar. Riflemen and Rangers move in from the center. Pack providing powering fire, but not really against anything since I'd rather pull back my anti tank gun since there's no 
Need to support them. Half track moving out once more. Going to provide fire support and a point of reinforcement for his troops, although a bit too close and could end up being Bazooka or Sticky. Yes, indeed, Bazooka shot going right up the tailpipe. Grenadiers huddling around the half track for cover. Reinforcing slowly, Rangers and Rifle moving in, and we see a of free Rifleman team. This means the size being even tougher and in fact taking less damage. They'll also do 1.5 more damage, meaning a Rifleman team will in fact be able to do Sector as much damage as a Grenadier team, if not more in particular with BARs. They'll be extremely lethal and capable of a high output of damage. Certainly not something you want to be caught on the wrong side of. Plus their survivability bonuses are much stronger than the elite armor since they don't become more susceptible to flames and they also gain protection from tank fire. Mortar once more secured by grenadiers and once more providing fire support. Pioneers sneaking about point. going to be caught if they aren't yes, cautious. And seizing this victory point again, me continuing to also harass and stop his plan of apparently just using this as a strong point without actually establishing a defensive line. Certainly something I'd suggest being a bit careful with. Engineers taking on the grenadiers but playing back since they aren't having any luck out in the open. Reinforcements. Small lull in the fight and I get the off-map combat group. Pioneers seizing the northern victory point. My enemy having once more secured all three victory points. Me leading another attack this time with a full up, fully restored veterans three rifleman squad and a rifle ranger team, all equipped with Thompson submachine guns. Going to do a lot of damage if they catch those grenadiers on the open. And indeed, we see a counter attack from the grenadiers. Apparently, decide not to use cover. Or even this building, in fact, standing up right in the middle of the open, a large volley of grenades doing some damage, but not really enough. And when she's one for the Rangers, making those certainly a lot tougher. And the Grenadier team looks like it might be taken out. 20 kills so far on that line on this one. MG42 having been set up, forcing a retreat, and we see the mortar has been secured once more. It looks like the medic station has been taken out. Certainly not looking good for me, but I do not give up. I keep up the pressure. Grenadiers being a bit diff expensive to reinforce, in fact. But certainly not going to stand up well out in the open against troops with automatic weapons, as you certainly saw there. And if they had perhaps used some cover here, like that building, or perhaps had been equipped with LMG-42s alongside that, they might have stood a better chance. But that was not to be the case. And of course the LMG-42 were affected. Seizing the central victory point, but taking fire from the MG-42 and rifle grenadiers moving in as well. Small fighting tick going on here. Grenadiers team once more caught out in the open, trying to harass. Grenadiers moving in from the south as well. Certainly so far four teams of Grenadiers. Riflemen holding out in cover. Grenadiers trying to move in for the mortar team, but we see Rangers moving in as well. Going to catch those Grenadiers in a very nasty position with their submachine guns. Might the Grenadiers be taken out? Or even the Pioneers? Yes, indeed, looks like the Grenadiers will Enemy be killed. Oh, didn't barely make it out, but the Pioneers weren't so lucky. Counter mortar fire raining in. And we see the MG42 still holding its position. Half track providing covering fire. Ranger moving in with some sticky bombs, but probably going to hit right into those mines. Turning to the fight in the center, mortar fire raining in on this MG42 very soon. Veterans level 3 for this rifleman team as well. Or was that the same one? No. Apparently that's another one if the other was pulled back. I think then Rangers moving in these grenadiers. Opening fire and taking a shot on the half track, knocking out a gunner and doing some damage. MG42 once more taken out by mortar fire and we see a firestorm going down. 
but I don't spot it before it's too late and I lose the ranger team in seconds to this very devastating barrage. But we see the engineers seizing this victory point once more. Again, my opponent not really capable of holding a defensive line, so, so concentrating all his troops right here and allowing me to basically harass everywhere else and seize a lot of territory that way. Riflemen healing up here and me gathering manpower for an off combat map group hoping for something useful to take on the enemy anti-tank gun providing cover I'm at this point suspecting that I might see a king tiger being utilized against me as that's certainly one of the key features of the terror doctrine anti-tank gun pulling back and he's slowly advancing Riflemen going off them with their BARs, automatic weapons. Riflemen grenadiers pulling back. Apparently not providing any coming fire, for example, using the deep here for protection. Perhaps not the best idea, certainly just giving me territory without even trying to fight for it. Engineers once more seizing this munitions point. And we see a lot of grenadiers moving in for the center. Riflemen moving in with counter. MG42 seized once more, and we're probably going to need some mortifier once more to try and knock that out. Grenades going off on the grenades, and we see a fresh T17. Apparently, the other one was knocked out. I can't remember when. I suspect this one had a finger in it. T17 moving in, going to clear out that machine gun. It seems. Rifleman pulling back. T17 not facing any threats except that bazooka equipped. Grenadier team while which is certainly not going to do a lot of damage. Well, it is. I've forgotten this, it's not Veteran C1 or the patch where the T-17 has been given a health buff. Pulling back but taking some shots at the Grenadiers and we see the off combat group has arrived. A lot of anti-tank guns apparently that armor car and a rifleman team. Mortar fire raining down on these Grenadiers certainly exposed. Very nasty and we see the half pack is still providing a lot of fire support. Grenades going off against the rifleman while I moved it. Out the anti tank guns, not really any use for them, so might as well try and use the direct fire support. And by a sheer luck, they knock out that half track, clearing the way for me. And a grenade going off against the mortar. Mortar team knocked out completely, denying him any heavy fire support from that. And we see fresh riflemen being trained alongside these. Riflemen who are certainly very veteran, very capable of dealing out a lot of damage. T-17 hanging around, a bit heavily damaged, but still capable of dealing with troops not equipped with anti-tank weapons. And the 